idea behind Streets Ahead is simply giving an opportunity for kids to experience the magic of dance and the power of performance. I decided to set up some dance clubs in local church halls, but it was a group of kids that I met at a summer scheme in Tottenham. And these six kids really inspired me. They love dance and I love teaching them. And we performed at a local showcase in Wood Green. And lo and behold, they were the stars of the show, according to the local paper. The audience were going crazy and I just suddenly thought, wow, this is something that I could really do and I could really pursue. I then went and did my dissertation in New York and followed Jacques Dambois, who's a member of the National Dance Institute and he worked with kids in very tough schools in inner city. And again, that gave me more hope that I could actually come and do this in London. And he said to me, set up your own organisation, working with kids from deprived areas, and that's exactly what I did. And I started with just a small number of kids, and it built from there. We had 20 children, and then we were in two schools, and it went up to 50 children, and then we had 100 kids. We started to put on three shows a year. Um, we started at the Tottenham Music Workshop. We went to sports halls. We went to smaller theatres. We went to Alexandra Palace. We did shows at Hackney Empire the Hippodrome in the West End. We wanted to make it as affordable as possible because we were doing this because we wanted to reach kids that had the passion but maybe not necessarily be able to afford local dance provision. We set it up as a registered charity. It's a non-profit organisation and our objective is to advance the education of young people in the field of dance and performing arts. The Streets Ahead first came to my primary school about nine years ago and we did like a weekly class and that opened the whole performing arts industry for me. So yeah, Streets Ahead has given me the pathway for dance, performing arts and I've pursued that as much as I possibly can. So Liz invited me to a class called the Sunday Club which was for kids that had like a special kind of like passion and that was just like the best thing so I was surrounded by loads of kids that had the same energy and the same vibe that I had so it really helped me open up and become who I wanted to be on stage. I've then progressed to teach dance and choreograph and I love choreography. I love just watching them and just look, looking at, oh wow, I remember teaching them that, I remember how much effort we went in for that, it's paid off. Now I am a dance teacher for Streets Ahead and it's just that feeling when you see the kids doing your dance on stage and you just get all choked up and you're like, I taught that to them and it's just the best feeling. I was accepted on the Centre for Advanced Training for the place and Streets Ahead, I think, started off that um, opportunity to perform in theatres like Jury Lane, Sadler's Wells. I now attend the Brit School of Performing Arts and I study musical theatre and literally I would not be in the Brit School if I had not gone to Streets Ahead. We're now based at the Haringey Sixth Form Centre and uh, we're now working with young people who are not in education, employment and training and we're trying to give them opportunities to come back into education and find the right pathway with a vocation that they really feel attached to and, and respond to. So we're looking at BTECs, vocational courses, um, but still keeping ourselves grounded with our 250 kids that we teach on a weekly basis and another 250 that we teach in colleges and sixth form centres. So 20 years ago, because this is our 20 year anniversary, I was there with six kids and now there's thousands that have been through us. And now I'm really lucky to have my sister Olivia on board who has helped turn Streets Ahead into a far more efficient and modern organisation and she's far better at organising than me. I feel very proud, I feel very blessed and I absolutely love, absolutely love what I do and I wouldn't change it for the world. Yeah.